The entertainment world and fans are mourning the loss of longtime Jeopardy host Alex Trebek, who died today following a battle with pancreatic cancer. Trebek announced last year he had cancer, but he continued to work as Jeopardy premiered its 37th season last week. Trebek hosted more than 8,000 episodes of Jeopardy, a record. KTLA re entertainment reporter Sam Rubin takes a look at Trebek's long career and how he's being remembered. The answer is? The answer is. The final Jeopardy answer is... As it turned out, the answer was always Alex Trebek himself. Here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Over the course of 37 seasons, Trebek hosted more than 8,200 episodes. Welcome to America's favorite answer and question game, Jeopardy. He was last in the Jeopardy studios on the Sony lot in Culver City on October 29th. Original episodes of Jeopardy with Trebek will continue to air until Christmas Day. We are the first quiz show to come back on the air in the COVID-19 era. Prior to his American television debut in The Wizard of Odds. And now here's the wily wizard himself, Alex Trebek. Trebek had a very successful career in his native Canada as a newsman and host for the CBC. Hey folks, <laughs> easy come, easy go. His charisma was noted south of the border, and he came to Hollywood and immediately became a very in-demand game show host. By having a few extra moments to consider the answer, you'll be able to play along and match your reflexes against these players. Trebek was the very first game show host since Groucho Marx to boast a full mustache. I regrew this. Other shows hosted by Trebek included High Rollers, Battle Stars, Classic Concentration, and a new incarnation of to tell the truth. First time in over 18 years of hosting television shows here at NBC, this is the first time I get to work sitting down. <laughs> and I thank NBC for this relief, believe me. After the amazing success of the original Jeopardy with original host Art Fleming, the show's creator, Merv Griffin, decided to bring back the beloved game show in 1984. Then let us play Jeopardy. <laughs> Jeopardy and Trebek became cultural touchstones, so much a part of the fabric of all of our lives that the show and Trebek were openly celebrated and also subjected to parody. I'm not a girl. I have a mustache on my face. <laughs> Decades of success and living what he described as the good life with his second wife, Jean, were uninterrupted until a surprising medical diagnosis. True to his always upfront nature, Trebek shared the news directly with his audience. This week, I was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. Trebek spoke of being overwhelmed by the outpouring of love and support from fans worldwide. One memorable on-air moment clearly illustrated a usually unflappable Trebek being moved by one contestant's on-air well wishes. What it is, we love you out. That's very kind. Of you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry to say. After the diagnosis, Trebek decided to pen his own autobiography, to tell his life story. It's a book filled with modesty and gratitude. The fact that the show has won 25 Emmys. We've won those 25 Emmys spread over about 17 years of programming. And so you don't notice it. It doesn't have the same impact as it does today when you put all 25 on the table and the Guinness Book of World Records comes along and gives you a certificate attesting to the fact that you are number one. You gotta feel good about that. Viewers, his death, while not entirely unexpected, leaves a question for which we all know the answer. Is it possible for anyone to ever replace Alex Trebek? And the answer is, no, it's not. In Hollywood, I'm Sam Rubin.